welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find similar objects and design assets in Canva. And here's what I mean. Take for instance, let's go to element and I'll type in 3D business man. Enter. Now it populates with different options of 3D businessmen. I'm drawn more towards this one and I like it. So let's go to a new, new, create a new page and add this. Now, what if I was working on a project that requires more of this type of avatar? I would have to do so much work searching for this very type to fit in, you know, for them to have, for the design to have the same flow. But to cut short that curve of going around searching, here is what you can do. Number one, you could use the magic recommendations that comes right after you choose your first object. For instance, if I say see all, I'm going to see more like this. So I can do that and click and bring them in. Another way, however, is I haven't seen one. Let me do away with this delete. I haven't seen one that I like. I could just go in to the info about that one and that way I can see more like this. So when I click see more like this, it shows me exactly the same set of things that feel similar to it, not necessarily the same thing, but this guides me in that sense. Now what if I actually want things that probably this same creator made and they look like this because I have a hint that if he could have done this, done this, done this and this, then he probably has more of a feel of work that looks like this. So here is the way around that. Go back to the info button and look at the name of the creator. In this case, it is monsters-visual. Okay. So how do we get more from monster dash visual? Go back into the element, clear the previous search and type at monsters dash visual. Enter. Right here, you find everything monster at visual, the creator called monster at visual has made. And here is how you can find similar assets, you know, that feel like the same body of work in a collection. Another way around it is um, looking at the options around the three dots of each image. And when you click that, most times or sometimes some creators who have done similar things and categorize them, group them, leave them in a collection, which makes it pretty easy. So if I click view collection, Let's go back again and see how that was done. The three dots above the particular image. Whenever you see view collection, this is not always present. I need to mention that. But when it is present, this option of view collection shows you exactly the set of what you just need. So I can go on and add them into my workspace. And that is how you find what you're looking for. Now, um, as a bonus tip, I'm going to show you something up here, right after we get all the things in the collection, all the objects in the collection, you see this code come up. Now, if I copy this and I'm going to leave this in the description below and I paste here, let's clear all that we've done and behave as though we have never done anything. Now, if I copy this and paste in here and I press enter. It gives me the set of faces, the set of um, images as I had before. This is how you get the code to see a variety of, of assets or similar body of work. I hope this was helpful. If it was, leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell for next time when I drop something so that you can see it. Um, until next time, guys. Cheers.